Hey guys, Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona. Today we're going to be taking a look at the FX Crown, and I have one thing to speak to its accuracy. Let's find out what this is, take a look at the gun in the showroom. Today we're going to be taking a look at an exciting new innovative product, the FX Crown. You can see there's four of them in front of me and what we have is one of each stock configuration. You notice there's three laminates in different colors and one walnut. This is the FX Crown in the green laminate configuration, the FX Crown in the walnut configuration, and the FX Crown in the black pepper gray laminate configuration. Me personally, I tend to lean toward this nice pretty blue and black laminate. So I went ahead and mounted an Aztec Emerald on the top here, and we're gonna highlight the features this rifle has to offer. The FX Crown was designed to be the ultimate air gun and the ability to adjust power externally, the ability to change barrel liners, everything about this gun is innovative and made to fit you and be the best gun it possibly can be. This FX Crown I'm holding here is chambered in the 25 caliber, but it's also available in 177, 22, and 30 caliber. We're gonna highlight some of the features that make this rifle specifically unique in the FX line. Starting at the back, the FX Crown has a vertically adjustable butt pad for up and down adjustments. On top of the vertical adjustment, new to the Crown, you also have the ability to cant this left or right. So if you're a right-handed shooter, you can see that this one's already been canted a little bit to get it to fit really snugly in your shoulder. The laminate specific stocks will have an adjustable cheek piece. You have one set screw that when loosened will allow you to adjust it up or down. The crowns do come with an external safety. On the other side, you'll notice it does have a traditional FX side lever cocking mechanism. This is very unique and one of the only ones that you can do with one hand. The breech block is cut on the crown with a much bigger gap here than traditional FX rifles. This is done with the shooter in mind. You now have the ability and the clearance to single load a pellet a lot easier than some of their other designs. The Crown doesn't come equipped with the FX match grade trigger. This is a fully adjustable two-stage trigger. The shroud on the FX Crown has the ability to be extended and then locked into place to help with the noise reduction. It can be shot in either way. The FX Crown does have a 480 carbon fiber CC bottle. This works well with the regulator to really maximize the number of shots you get. The FX Crown does come with a nice dust cap to keep over your fill nozzle. This will prevent anything from getting in there and it gives you a nice satisfying click when it's installed. You also notice that this gun does have two air gauges. The front one will tell you how much pressure is in your bottle. It's closest to the bottle, that's the front one. The rear gauge will actually read which pressure your regulator is operating at. The factory does spend a lot of time maximizing accuracy with reg pressure, so it's always a safe bet to leave it where it comes from the factory. They do their research and development. However, if you do wanna adjust the regulator, one of the features unique to the Crown is the ability to externally do so. Underneath the front gauge, you'll notice there is a tiny little cut in the stock. If you get yourself a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench and you put it in there, there is an adjustable screw that when backed out will increase the reg pressure and when tightened will decrease the reg pressure. Very important that you understand that you cannot decrease the reg pressure while there's air in the system. So keep that in mind if it's an absolute must and you must adjust it, do not under any circumstance ever decrease the pressure with air in the system. On the other side of the stock, you'll notice one of the new innovative features to the Crown that none of the FX rifles have are these two power wheels right here. This entire breech block is a new design and it's built to really maximize these two points here. At the front, you have a one, a two, and a three that will adjust the transfer port size allowing more or less air to enter the barrel. So the rear wheel is directly connected to the hammer spring tension. It gives you 12 different points. Each one will either increase or decrease the tension on the hammer spring, which will adversely affect the velocity of your pellet. Probably the most anticipated feature that this rifle has is underneath the shroud here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, this will thread right off. So now we're looking directly at the barrel here. And what the crown does is it has the ability actually to pull the sleeve out of the inside 
and change the twist rates of the barrels. So you can have a barrel that shoots JSB pellets, you can have a barrel that, that's shoot, that made to shoot hollow point pellets. There is unlimited potential in the barrels here. You will have to do some trial and error to figure out which liners, which twist rates will shoot the best on which pellets. There is infinite adjustability on this rifle in theory. Between the three power points I showed you, and then the ability to change the twist rate, this gun, like I said earlier, it is innovative. It's unlike anything that's ever hit the market. Now I'm gonna show you real quickly how it is that you would change that barrel sleeve. I'm just gonna use a punch. You can use any kind of straight metal tooling, but just put that in there, break that off, so it'll freely turn now. And this would be called the air stripper. Once you get the air stripper out of the way, You'll notice that the half inch threaded piece does have some tooling marks up here on the end. And that is specifically for a 10 millimeter inch. Twist to the left. Once you get it to start it, it should come out by hand the rest of the way. So we get that piece off. Once the half inch piece is out, this is the barrel liner directly that you're looking at here. So you wanna get it, might give you a little bit of resistance, but it should just pull straight out. And this is what makes the FX crown so unique. This is a one in 28 smooth twist X barrel. So it's fully rifled, one in 28 twist rates. And what they're gonna have available in the future is different sleeves. You can order a sleeve instead of a whole new gun. You can order a specific twist rate, a specific caliber. You can really customize this platform. So you start with the platform, you have power adjustments, you have barrel adjustments. You just have the ultimate air gun when it comes to being adjustable. The only other component needed to change calibers is the bolt probe. This can be removed simply by removing the set screw straight out the top when the rifle is in the cocked position and exchanging whichever caliber bolt probe you desire to use. FX has really put in the power in your hands as the shooter to get this rifle customized and get it shooting just like you like. All that being said, and a, and a gun in a couple different parts in front of me, they shoot great right out of the box. So this is all here for you if you want it but by no means is it necessary because these guns are absolutely accurate out of the box. So putting the sleeves back in, you'll notice there's three O-rings here. Those are made as friction points, so they don't have metal and metal on contact. So there is no pre-positioned place for the O-rings. I would just keep them away from the edges, that way they don't slide off when you're pushing it back in. As you go, I like twisting it so the friction on the O-ring doesn't bunch up. So you'll know it's installed correctly when there's only about a half an inch of barrel liner sticking out. That's when it's bottomed out. And when you see it about like that, simply put your half inch piece back on here. This one you don't want to over tighten. You just want to get it nice and snug there. The air stripper will go back on top of the half inch. The last part of this is simply the moderator. It just goes on and then threads back into your piece at the base there. So there you have it. You can completely change your barrel twist rate in about a minute and a half. So FX as a factory has made an incredibly accurate, one of the best shooting guns they've ever put out. And at the same time, they've given you, the shooter, the ability to change it and do whatever you want to it. So you have these points here. Like I said, they shoot great out of the box. FX did a great job in delivering an accurate rifle. And if you absolutely must, you have three different points here that you can really fine tune and customize your rifle. Now that we've got it all back in one piece, barrel all fully assembled, we're gonna take it back to 25 yards, throw some numbers over the chronograph, calculate some energy, then we're gonna take it out to 50 for some true accuracy testing. And from what I've seen floating around right now, I have some pretty high expectations for it. So let's get back to the range and start crunching some numbers. Okay, so we're back here at the 20 yard test range. For all of our testing today at the 20 and the 50, I'm gonna have the transfer port set at a three and I'm gonna have the power wheel set at max. This is how the crown will arrive to you straight from us. Loading the FX crown magazine is similar to the other FX style rifles. You wanna get the transparent front cover counter wound all the way around counterclockwise until it stops. Flip the whole unit over and for the first pellet only, you put it in skirt first. So that locks it into place. And then as you come back around, all the other pellets will go in nose first. And you basically are creating the spring tension this way. So it'll actuate by itself. 
What we're gonna do is put five shots downrange and get an accuracy feel of the gun. Then we're gonna fill up the magazine and tell you how many shots it gets per fill and then calculate the energy from velocity. So let's start shooting. So just as anticipated, it's almost unfair indoors at 20 yards here with the FX crown. You can't see any of the 10X ring anymore. So that's exactly what you want. Five shots, punching out the middle, shows great potential for accuracy. And it's almost too easy. I think the rest of the accuracy testing is gonna be done outside at 50 yards because this is just too simple at this point. We've reset the rifle to 250 bar, loaded up a 16 shot magazine. This is gonna be one of the many I'm assuming I'm gonna need, um, but we're gonna calculate how many shots it gets from a 250 bar film. Off of a 250 bar fill, the FX Crown got 95 shots, the highest being 895 feet per second and the low being 870. So over 95 shots, there was only an extreme spread of 25 feet per second and the average was 887 feet per second. If you calculate that out, that comes right at 45 foot pounds of energy. So at 45 foot pounds, this rifle delivers 95 full power shots. That's a lot of shots for an arguably high powered rifle. 45 foot pounds is nothing to slouch at and 95 shots per fill is nothing to slouch at either. They're actually both really impressive stats. And to give you an idea of the adjustability on this gun, we ran some shots at the one power setting and the minimum on the power wheel. And without adjusting the regulator or making any changes other than our two external wheels here, we were averaging about 440 feet per second, which is 11 foot pounds. So in theory, you have 11 foot pounds up to 45 foot pounds and infinite adjustability between it. I mean, and even outside of it to a certain degree. So high shot count, lots of power, extreme accuracy. This truly is the crown jewel in a proud line of air guns. We have the crown outside at our 50 yard testing range. We're gonna be shooting the JSB Exact Kings. We're gonna put five pellets down range on paper at 50 yards and let's see how the FX crown stacks up. All right, so there's five shots downrange. Let's go see what it looks like. These are our five shots right here. No surprise at all, they are very tight. I mean, that's easily coverable. I could cover that if you had a something smaller than a dime, I think that could cover it up. So 50 yard accuracy with this crown is just hole on top of hole. Very impressive from FX. So we usually have fun with some reactive targets at 20 yards. This gun is kind of the end all be all of accuracy. So we decided to have some fun at 50 yards. I've set a paintball on a golf tee since I am limited to 50. I gotta decrease the size of my target. I can't imagine it's gonna take me more than one shot to explode that. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> and that paintball's gone. Pow pow, I don't know, <laughs> that was exciting. So in the spirit of decreasing the target size, we got about as thin as we can get. I have a ace of spades standing up upright. What we're gonna try and do is send a pellet straight through it and cut it. This one will be interesting, but let's see if we can get it done here. Oh, just to the right. Took the card out, so let's go see what happened. <laughs> Knocked it out of its holder, if nothing else. Oh, sweet. There's one half of it. Where's the other half? You see it? Right there? there. <laughs> There's two pieces right there. Oh, so here you go. Ace of spades with one 25 caliber pellet that hit it square on. I, I can't think of a smaller target than this. That's as thin as we could get and it's still crushing right through it. FX crown, super accurate, even 50 yards.
So today we put the FX crown under the microscope and it did not disappoint. We showed you all the different points you have for adjusting the power. We showed you the ability to change twist rates, add different barrels to the gun. We we're showing 95 full power shots at 44 foot pounds at the 20 yard range. And then at 50 yards, the accuracy spoke for itself. And this gun is just incredibly fun to shoot. Always hits what you're aiming at. And just to reiterate from the factory, these things are just punching holes in paper like we showed at 50. The innovation FX has shown on this design is nothing short of incredible. So we've had a lot of fun shooting it today and we're gonna have a lot of fun researching and testing and trying different twist rates. And the future for this gun is very bright. So we're excited about it here at Air Guns of Arizona and we hope that you guys are excited about it as well. That's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube so you can stay current with all new videos. Follow us on Facebook and join our email list to stay up to date with all sales and promotions. Thanks again for watching guys, I'm Jared Clark.